Hello, hello, my name is Kevin, and you'll be watching my Let's Play of Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Let's jump right in. I'm gonna start a new game. Uh, normal. Don't wanna make it too hard. And we're off. Now, really, I don't really like the first game as much as I like the second two. The first game was sort of just like an introduction to the series. The second and third really mastered it and made it the defining franchise we have today. And the cutscenes, I'll probably just not talk, not give any commentary over the cutscenes. You know, just let you guys watch it and experience the story, but mostly during the fighting or the exploring scenes, I'll try and give some commentary. Great quote. Start it off. It starts off with a bang. Sir Francis Drake. You know, you never really learn if Drake, the main character of this, is actually related to Sir Francis Drake. I believe in the third movie they sort of hint that he's not. But I'm gonna actually turn subtitles on just for you guys watching. I'm here off the coast of Panama, where we just recovered what we believe to be the but coffin. Of I kind of hope they make a fourth game Francis just to Drake, at least iron out if he is related to Drake or not. Kind of want to see how that plays out, see what happens. Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Besides, thought you didn't believe me. Well, I did do my and like I said, I'm probably not going to talk during these cutscenes, just so you guys so. can watch them. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. For example, you can't defile an empty coffin. What the hell? Devil. What is it? Come on. No, 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 no way. Deal. If my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, hey. you wouldn't have. You got your story, lady. Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. <laughs> I have a right to see no. every single thing that. Could you hold that thought? So, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay. What's going on? Uh. Pirates. Pirates? Yeah, the modern kind. They don't take prisoners. It's not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, sh shouldn't we call the authorities or something? Yeah, that'd be a great idea, but we don't exactly have a permit to be here. What? Yeah, so unless you want to end up in a Panamanian jail, we should probably handle this ourselves. But what's worse? You obviously have not been here. Yeah. yeah. Point and shoot, right? Good girl. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Now, I haven't played this game in a really long time, so I'm probably going to be extremely rusty and suck really bad. But that's alright, isn't it? Not really used to the controls either. Been playing a lot of first person shooters, it's been making me rusty. Where'd they go? The hardest part is when they actually come on on the boat. And you gotta punch them out. Yeah, I keep pressing square to reload if you see. Feel free to call me noob all you want. I was never really good at those combo things. In the third game, they're a lot better, and I could actually do those somewhat, but in the first game, just mashing the different buttons, I really got the hang of it. Missed those guys completely. Nice, nice. Giving you guys some good gameplay. Brutal combo. Yeah, I can never get this one. But I do like the melee in this game. 
finish him off with a few shots. But you can't shoot with water as they're swimming, that's kind of oversight on the developer's part. This first part is not really that interesting. Just shoot some pirates. Uh, you don't really need to use cover either on this first part. On the later ones, it gets extremely important that you know how to use cover and fight other people in cover. But these guys tend to be, the uh, enemies in this game tend to be idiots and stick their head out just a tiny bit so you can pull off the perfect headshot. That's the fun of the game, isn't it? Now when Speed thinks he's really bad, Sully shows up. Yep, there he is. To watch him swoop in. Little Angel. Angel. Sorry. Still gotta take cover though. Thank God indeed. They just jump off. There goes the boat. That was fun. Gotta grab the camera. Let's go grab the camera. There he is, good old Sully. <laughs> I can't leave you alone for a minute, can I? I had everything under control until they blew up the boat. <laughs> you alright? Nothing the years of therapy won't fix. Well, if it isn't the beautiful and talented Elena Fisher. Flattery will get you screen time. Yeah, I'm more of a behind the scenes kind of guy. Victor Sullivan. Oh. <laughs> Uh, for Christ's sakes. What do you say we get out of here before you attract any more attention? Well? A little present from Sir Francis. Oh, oh, so you found the coffin. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? <laughs> Drake's lost diary. Faked his death, just like I said, Sully. He must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Thanks for the loan, Mr. Drake. I think I've earned a look at that diary when we land. Awkward. So look. When Drake sailed into the Pacific, he took the Spanish fleet completely by surprise. He captured their ships, he took maps, their letters, their journals, and he recorded everything in this diary. Uh-huh, so this... But, when he got back to England, Queen Elizabeth confiscated all of his charts and logbooks, including this one, and then swore his entire crew to silence. Yeah, so this... You see, Drake discovered something on that voyage, Sully. Something so secret and so valuable, they couldn't risk it getting out. All right, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> Man only interested in the climax. You must be a real hit with the ladies. Never had any complaints. Okay, then. I'll jump to the good part, just for you. Ho, ho, ho. Huh? El goddamn Dorado. He was onto something big, all right. Does it say anything else? Oh, so now you're interested, huh? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn out. I'm telling you, Sully. This is it. This is finally it. Yeah. Only... We got one little problem. Yes, that's what I said. It blew up. It sank. No, that's why we have insurance, right? Oh. Oh no, the camera? No, the camera's fine. Don't worry about the camera, no. Still as good as new. Sully, the girl can hold her own. You should have seen her. Fine. You go on out there and you tell her, we just found the lost city of gold. Maybe the producer can get it on the air tonight. Oh, come on. Nate, do you trust me? More or less. <laughs> good. Because we're going to have every two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. You're a real gentleman, Sully. I know. It stinks. Get over it. No, I don't budget. I mean, do you realize this is like the biggest story of the year? 
about him. No, I don't trust him, okay? That's why we need to move fast. So just get me the camera crew, and I promise you that... Should have seen that one coming. Ugh. I'm gonna stop it there. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry it was a bit boring. It was mostly just um, intro cutscenes and the tutorial level. Next episode, which I should have out uh, over the weekend, it'll be a bit more interesting. I'm gonna try and get two or three episodes of this out a week. But we'll see if I can keep that schedule. So thanks for watching and tune in next time.